what up youtube and we are back with another video man definitely looking forward to this video because it's gonna be a straight banger man y'all see the merch y'all see the box y'all see everything sitting up on the table man no i am not a travis scott fan but i do know the value of travis scott and what it holds and what it means to the sneaker community and to the culture <clears throat> so a lot of people use this stuff as trade bait um happy to bring this to you guys man guys probably been seeing them all over the internet um but you know this is the first you know quick review of the actual travis scott fragment one air jordan um you guys can see the boxes there um tell you a little backstory about that as we get to popping in the video man but yeah drum roll drum roll make that camera shake baby we're gonna make the camera break let's make it, everybody tune in need you guys to hit that subscribe button for me so i'm definitely gonna sit back and wait while you guys do that we'll wait no worries hit that subscribe button man for your boy my content on the channel goes a long way man i love bringing you guys content each and every time out my kids and family as well uh, so we're always looking forward to it but as you guys can see that white box man is beautiful and you guys know what this means, man. So this is the Travis Scott triple collab. Triple collab with Air Jordan and then Frag as well. So that Travis Scott Fragment Air Jordan 1. And happy to bring this for you guys. You see that box? Beautiful box. Does have the Nike on that box there. As you guys can see, it is a size 13. So boom. See it? 13. Smack. We're going to go ahead, pop it off, baby, and let's get it going. Just like the other box, got your stamp in there as well. Nike sign. Now it does come with this pink Travis Scott paper. As you guys can see, was as most of the Travis Scotts do. Uh, pretty dope. Um, really not feeling the pink a lot of the times that Travis Scott is doing it, but it is what it is, guys. So looking forward to it as you guys can see right there definitely guys hold on here for a second sit that down as you guys can see man it's definitely a beautiful sneaker well put together you guys can see that frag logo there on the side boom you guys see that back at the frag logo there as well and then we make it around to the front guys so what a sneaker you guys see that tumble leather there on top of that black and that back definitely a cold sneaker there is the bottom um bro i'm happy to bring these to you guys i'm really looking forward to these that stuff tumbling on the side so what i decided to do with these particular ones guys was to switch the laces up on them so you guys could get an in-depth look of both um, now, you know, I did uh, swap them out, but, you know, it definitely had to represent Nip, you know, Nipsey. So I had to put the blue laces in for Nip. You feel me? So there they are, guys. As you guys can see, definitely a nice silhouette there. Um, a lot of people like these better than the high tops. Me, personally, I did myself. That's why I had to grab me a pair. Uh, but, man, yeah, definitely a dope sneaker. Feeling that tumble leather there, as you guys can see. Um, and then they have that Jordan logo on the back. Uh, it does have the Cactus Jack sign right here on the side as well, um, as you guys can see. Um, and I've seen a lot of different pairs, guys. So, you know, you make sure that you leave in the comments below. Uh, you know, some pairs are flawed, of course. I've seen some with a bulkier toe box. I've seen some where it's supposed to you like this here um and it doesn't technically you on there uh so you definitely give me your thoughts leave that down in the description what? uh excuse me in the comments below um and just give me your thoughts are you experiencing or seeing other pairs that are inconsistent like the first series of the air jordan travis scott um you know particular ones there uh those were the chocolate i believe like the mocha color I did have those. I was able to get rid of those as well, um, you know, and sell them for, to, I'm going to tell you guys like this, man, to get a sneaker and be able to wear it and then turn around and sell it for almost $700 after you've wore it 10 times, 
don't look at it like I'm the fool. It's nope. definitely an investment at the end of the day, man. So that's what it's all about. You know, it's part of the culture because we do wear our kicks. I will put my feet in these. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's definitely coming, um, and that's what I'm looking forward to do. As far as resale, if I were to get my hands on another pair, I definitely would look at that, you know, and then, you know, rock and stock. But, you know, for these particular shoes, guys, this is ridiculous, man. Uh, they're, they're having silly numbers right now. Uh, I think these things are up to like three grand. I think I seen on StockX, um, you know, and really just a dope sneaker, cause especially compared to the high tops. I just think this colorway, man, is is hitting. You know, I'm not really feeling that the pink, um, you know, kind of look it's giving. It's more sale, uh, but dude, that colorway right there is killer. Um, you know, Jordan Brand really thought this out, and like I said, I'm not really a Travis Scott fan, but the color of this, you know, the whole silhouette of this particular sneaker, man, is one of a kind. So, you know, at the end of every video, when I do my shoe reviews, I will make sure to put an on-foot review for you guys at the end, so you can see them on foot. Um, you know, I'm just going to wear some shorts. I got my PJs on because it is getting ready to wrap up for me to get ready to hit the bed, man. But I just wanted to bring this video to you guys, man, and let you get a look at that 360 Panorama Cactus Jack Air Jordan 1 Fragment. The shoes match the box. The box matches the shoes. It does come with that other box behind there, as you guys can see it. I'm not going to reach and pull that out. You know, it's just enough trying to set this little background theme up that I had. I'm going to remember that I did have some, um, you know, Travis Scott cereal that we found when we were in Tennessee visiting my family. And then uh, this Fortnite toy came out. I was able to grab that online too, you know, for a deal. So we all about a deal over here with these Travis Scott's, man. Like I said, we definitely got to bring them to you guys. So you guys are able to see what time it is with this shoe, man. It is a dope shoe. Um, do not sleep on this shoe. I do not believe it's worth 3000 The leather quality is okay. It's not the best. Um, you know, but overall, man, dope shoe, dope silhouette. Um, I'm really feeling them. I'm, I've seen a lot of inconsistencies with each shoe that I've seen. Uh, so make sure you guys leave in the comment below. What do you guys feel? How do you guys feel? Um, do you feel like Jordan Brand is inconsistent? Do you feel like they're just dropping shoes as they go to make a quick buck? Because, you know, the hype beast and all of that, definitely going to hype it up and make it more than it is. Or do you feel like they're putting quality back in the sneakers? Me personally, I don't know, man. I got mixed feelings. I got mixed feelings. I grabbed a 13, um, you know, but I'm definitely going to try to get a, my hands on a 12. Um, you know, these do fit good. I just thought they would fit a little tighter with them being ones. Like I said, I'm really not a ones guy, but, you know, it is what it is, man, at the end of the day. So... Uh, you guys, make sure you leave in the comments below. Uh, if you do have any inconsistencies, please let me know. Um, but other than that, man, these shoes are fire. They're a whole hell of a lot better than the high top ones. To me, those are trash. Um, you know, but if I had my choice, man, it would definitely be this one. You can't go wrong with the black, white, and then that that uh, that blue, man. It's definitely hitting together. So definitely will get you guys an on-foot review of this sneaker. Um, like I said, I was looking forward to bringing it to you guys and then I just want to zoom in and show you that phone You know the T3500 uh, Which is a little weird looking Travis Scott toy there. Not sure why you know, he does have the robotic face um, He does have a small gun there as well um, Let me pull it down Some little small gun there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, yeah, man, but I got this my kids are really into Fortnite um, and you know, I just looked at it like as a collector's item and something that they could either hold on to or I could use for trade bait. So I still am in the trade bait because I do get sneakers. And then you guys can see the box there. And then this is the front cover to that box that actually comes in there as well. So pretty dope, guys. Man, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you do get that content that is coming to you fresh off the press, as I like to say. You guys get the first on-foot review and in-hand Travis Scott Jordan 1. If you guys haven't seen it already, I'm bringing it to you my way. We're going to bring it different than other people do because I'm different. My family is different, so we are cooping the game, 
and we are here and we're gonna keep doing our thing man so y'all just shout out to everybody that's watching we just need you guys to hit that subscribe button uh so we can bust this thing through the roof so like share subscribe comment down below if you if you feel like doing so and uh we was, this one's gonna be a wrap for this one and uh we appreciate you watching man until the next time peace